good to be with you today. My name is Mr. Dyer, and I wanted to share a couple of thoughts uh, I've had over the past few days with you. I know we're in a stressful and anxious time, and there's a lot of uncertainty around what the future holds. But I want us to be reminded that we are loved by God, and that God is with us, and that we are loved by our families, and certainly by our parish family as well, even though we can't celebrate Mass together, or our youth group nights, or confirmation classes together right now. Um, I know in my own prayer life, I've been sort of turning to the Psalms and Proverbs in the Old Testament, uh, particularly uh, Psalm 91, which says this, he who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty, my refuge and fortress, my God in whom I trust. And Proverbs 3, uh, verses 5 and 6, which says this, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make your paths straight. And so I find those words to uh, be comforting in this uh, difficult time. Hopefully um, you can rely upon God's word right now, especially in the Bible, um, wherever you can find comfort and peace uh, throughout the Old or New Testament. And so um, just be reminded that uh, God is uh, in control of the situation. I know we don't know exactly when that situation will end, um, but we are a, a hopeful people and that our stories will go on at some point. Um, so, you know, I just recommend that you use this time wisely to focus on what truly matters, which is God and others, particularly our family, who uh, whether we like it or not, are spending quite a bit of time with. And so we uh, can choose to either grow closer or to um, also to uh, distance ourselves from one another. Um, so try to be positive at home, especially if you have younger brothers and sisters. Uh, they are looking to your example. So don't forget to practice virtue. Please know that I'm praying for all of you, especially the class of 2020, the seniors who are graduating. Uh, I know this is not what you imagined uh, for your senior year, but uh, this too will pass. And, you know, try to remain hopeful in the Lord and, the, you know, your future. I wanted to... Uh, particularly remind you that there are numerous, numerous online uh, resources to keep us uh, centered spiritually during this time. Certainly check out the Queen of Heaven Parish website, which is being updated. It has many links to great Catholic content and prayers um, that you can use, particularly uh, what's been described as Cap Catholic Netflix, which is formed.org, uh, which our parish subscribes to currently. Um, try Googling YouTube videos on Father Mike Schmidt. He answers a whole host of questions uh, about our faith and some of the questions that you might even be having right now. Also a favorite of mine, which I've been using, is uh, Bishop Barron and Word on Fire. This is a little Lenten reflection that I've been doing uh, daily. Certainly the Rosary, a great Catholic uh, devotional prayer to be relying upon uh, during this time. Um, last Sunday night, we participated in a national online youth, online youth event called Project YM. Some of you may have tuned in to that. Um, Father Mike Schmitz will be the presenter this week. Again, those begin at 8 o'clock on Sunday nights. So if you're interested, I'm not sure if you've watched, but um, pretty good content. Um, excuse me and uh, some different things that are uh, available to us through Project YM. Certainly, uh, 
the mass is being streamed live uh, on various websites um, throughout our diocese um, and throughout the country. So especially as Holy Week approaches, um, you know, don't use uh, not being able to go to Mass as an excuse to not enter in to this most uh, sacred triduum time that is about to happen. And lastly, know that we are here for you, um, I am here for you, and just want you to know that you are supported. Let us not forget the many blessings that we do have, and uh, if anyone needs to talk, certainly, um, I can be available for that. I would just ask that you call the Queen of Heaven Parish uh, phone number, which is 330-896-2345, and my extension is 107. I can uh, retrieve voicemails from, uh, from home and uh, be in touch with you if there's anything that you need to talk about. So feel free to reach out. And lastly, um, you know, peace be with you. And may God truly bless us uh, during this time. And we look forward to being together again as a community, as a youth group, confirmation class, and as a church. And so may God bless you richly. Thanks. Take care. Bye-bye.